you are given this coding question during the interview, you're going to have a rough time. So given an array of zeros and ones, return the length of the longest subarray with equal numbers of zeros and ones. Let's say we're given this array, we have the following subarray with equal numbers of zeros and ones, so we can return its length 6. Let's go over the doll process. What we can do is to keep track of the count. When we see a 0, we will decrement the count. When we see a 1, we will increment the count. We can see that if the count ever reaches 0, we have the same number of zeros and 1s. To better visualize this, we will plot the count and the index. Now let's say we have the red dots to represent the count at each index, and we have the following where the count is equal to 0. By calculating the difference between the indices, we can find the length of the subarray that contains the same number of zeros and ones. Now this does not only apply when count is equal to zero. When count are equal, we can also find a subarray that contains the same number of zeros and ones. We will need a quick way to check for the count and index. What we can do is to create a hash map to keep track of the count and index. Let's implement a function find max length taking the input array, create the map, keep track of the maximum length in the counts, Put 0 and negative 1 into the map as a base case. Iterate through the indices. If the element is equal to 0, increment count by negative 1, else increment by 1. If the map contains the counts, update max length if the current subarray is longer, else put counts at the index into the map, return max length. 